We had an excellent conversation about how to move past the crypto question. And at the end of the day, we decided that encryption is either a blue dress or a white dress, and we're going to talk about it ad nauseum. Uh, the panel began with presentations from two, uh, members, or two staffers for Congress for proposals that are currently being considered by Congress. All agreed that encryption is a difficult issue because encryption is a tool. It can be used by both good guys and bad guys. Matt Mitchell of Crypt uh, Crypto Harlem said, a getaway car is used by bank robbers, but we all need to drive cars. Encryption poses a difficult question because it is a tool used in novel ways, both by human rights defenders and by criminals. Joan O'Hara, the general counsel for the House Homeland Security Committee, mentioned human traffickers. Human traffickers use encryption to hide their trade. At the same time, researchers trying to under uncover human trafficking rings are using encryption to protect their researchers. ISIS uses encryption to protect their communications, while those investigating war crimes in Syria use encryption to protect their communications as well. Alex Joel, Chief Privacy Officer for the Intelligence Community, also identified that the difficulty is exacerbated by the fact that we're holding a debate with technologists and policy people. A coder sees the world as a one or a zero, and policy people see the world in shades of gray. Uh, we discussed how encryption is necessary for both cybersecurity and the application of human rights around the world. Uh, Nima Singh Giuliani of the ACLU and Matt Mitchell identified that encryption is necessary for some communities to be able to participate in the democratic process, while efforts to undermine encryption are unfairly borne by ethnic and religious minorities. Uh, quote I enjoyed, Matt Mitchell said, quote, encryption allows us to be free and American. Uh, Amy Stepanovich of the international human rights group Access Now said, encryption allows people to speak, that is essential to human rights. And finally, the panel addressed the issue of digital estates and what happens to your data when you died. Uh, the panel seemed to agree that American leadership in this regards has been lacking, and that has allowed for countries like Russia and China to undermine both security and privacy. Gus Hurwitz of the University of Nebraska said that America's lack of leadership will, in, will result in countries like China and India, which are larger markets for American companies, writing the rule, rules <coughs> with negative results for human rights and American corporations.